Welcome distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. On behalf of Command Sergeant Major David Lee Jr., Director, the Sergeant's Major Academy, welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Sergeant's Major course, Distance Learning. Ladies and gentlemen, the invocation will be given by our chaplain, followed by the playing of the national anthem. I invite you to pray or meditate in your tradition as I do in mine. Lord God, I thank you for this special occasion when we get to congratulate our NCOs on their graduation from the Distance Education Sergeant's Major course. Their hard work in pursuit of excellence has helped make them the great leaders they are today. I ask your continued blessings on them and on their careers as they help shape this army into the best fighting force in the world. I ask this in your holy name. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still who say does that star-spangled banner yet away For the land of the free and the home of the brave Good morning. On behalf of the Commandant of the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence, Command Sergeant Major Jason Smith, welcome to today's virtual graduation. My name is Command Sergeant Major Todd Shirley, Deputy Commandant of the Center of Excellence. I'm honored to be here today to provide you some opening remarks about this day. To be a graduate of the Sergeant's Major course is a once-in-a-lifetime achievement that most will not attain. To be clear, only 1% of the soldiers who enlist in the Army will ever make it this far. That says a lot about you as a person, a soldier, a professional, and a leader. Congratulations, you made it. As a graduate of non-resident Sergeant Majors Corps Class 36, I know what you went through to complete this milestone. You went to work each day, doing the job that you were trained for whether it was for the Army, like myself, or your civilian job, like many of you in the Guard and Reserve. Then you would come home to your studies, spending long hours in the night reading, writing papers, doing research, practical exercises, taking tests, all while sacrificing quality time with your family and your friends. Your road to success was much longer than our resident students but you have accomplished the same goals, learned the same things, got the, t the same 1059. You are now part of the alumni who can proudly say, I'm a graduate of the Sergeant's Major Academy, a member of Class 46. As we all know, things change with time. We as an Army and an educational institution must adapt the way we educate senior NCOs to keep up with the changing doctrine, regulations, lessons learned, and new, de new technologies. Not to mention the changing paradigms in social economics and global nation states, both friends and foe. I can tell you, the course that you've completed is much different from the one I took 10 years ago. The rigor is far greater than what I experienced, and the course requirements today are on par with the resident course, not two years behind like it used to be. 
This is a college level course that rivals most universities of today. The Sergeant's Major course provides you the tools to develop your critical reasoning, critical thinking, and decision making skills. It takes you from a tactical level of thinking to an operational strategic perspective in order to prepare you for leadership positions in organizations executing unified land operations. It also prepares you for leadership positions and joint assignments, as well as battalion, brigade, and division through echelons above core, staff sergeant major, and command levels. Be proud of your accomplishment. Take what you learn and be the leader you would want to be led by. Live the Army values and lead by example. Ultima, Army Strong. The Sergeant's Major Course Distance Learning is a 24-month program of instruction designed to prepare senior non-commissioned officers for assignments in positions throughout the Department of Defense. These students have successfully completed their final requirements of the Sergeant's Major Course. On 17 May 1972, General William Westmoreland, the Army Chief of Staff, approved the creation of a senior level course for the non-commissioned officer education system. General Ralph E. Haynes, Jr., the commander of the Continental Army Command, also favored its creation and issued General Order 98, officially creating the Academy effective 1 July 1972. The first class started six months later in January 1973. When the Sergeant's Major Academy began operations, it already planned to offer a distance learning version of the Sergeant's Major course for National Guard and Army Reserve non-commissioned officers. The first distance learning class began with 55 students in July 1974 and graduated two years later in July 1976. Less than half of those who started graduated, with only 22 students completing the course. Today, each class has hundreds of students and a graduation rate of 75% and commonly includes regular Army non-commissioned officers. Three Air Guardsmen have also graduated the program since its inception. Through most of its history, the course has been called the Sergeant's Major Distance Learning Course, but for a period in the 1990s, it was officially known as the Corresponding Studies Sergeant's Major Course. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker. Greetings, class, non-resident class of the Sergeant Major Academy. Congratulations on a job well done. You reached the pinnacle piece of graduating from the Sergeant Major Academy, which now you are, or soon will be, a Sergeant Major of the United States Army. Some of you are probably already Sergeant Majors and doing the job for the last year and a half or so uh, as a Sergeant Major. But all of you all have now completed the ultimate class of the primary military uh, education in the Army, and that's the Sergeant Major Academy. Something you should be very proud of. But just graduating from Sergeant Major Academy, it doesn't stop right there. Now you have moved yourself into an elite group of men and women of long history and traditions that comes with the rank of Sergeant Major. And you're going to be held to that traditional traditions and history uh, when you put on the rank of Sergeant Major. For the last year and a half or so, you have uh, refined your skills in uh, writing, researching, strategic thinking, and all of those things you're going to need as we move forward in the Sar as a Sergeant Major in today's Army, today's Army National Guard, as well as the United States Army Reserve. Today's soldier is not yesterday's soldier at all. You all are coming into as a Sergeant Major in a very unique situation of our nation, of our world. Our world is full of complexities. Our nation is coming out of a pandemic and things are changing constantly in the Army. So as a Sergeant Major, you have to have your aperture as wide as it can be because you are now a strategic thinker a strategic decision maker, a change maker for the Army. And so you have to think 
in those terms when making the decision. And remember, when you are making those decisions, it matters. People listen to you because you are a sergeant major. You're a graduate of the Sergeant Major Academy. So people do listen. So my advice to you is that take your time when making a decision. Ensure you have all the information that's needed. Listen and not just go off the cuff because your decision matters. We're moving, as the Army moves into a new era of the Army, there's things you're going to be faced with, hard decisions. You know, wearing, the, wearing the, the rank of Sergeant Major is just not something you just wear. You're moving into an era where you're going to have to make hard decisions. But I want those decisions to be fair to all soldiers, because as a Sergeant Major and as a leader in this Army, your job does not stop as providing opportunities for every soldier you represent. You provide opportunity. And what's unique about the Sergeant Major is that we hold everybody accountable and to include yourself. And so now that you're a Sergeant Major doesn't mean you're exempt from anything. You are still held accountable and should be doing everything that you are requiring all your soldiers to be. That's because you have to lead through transparency because everybody's watching you. Everybody's watching you. And so ensure your leadership is transparent. It's fair for all. And just like you have complete, you're now completing your military education, uh, completing the Sergeant Major Academy, it's your job to continue to ensure that all soldiers are completing their military education as well too. Because that's the power of our organization. It's, what, it's the amount of investment, the educational investment, we put into our soldiers that makes us the most powerful military force in the world. It's the educational piece. We're in an era now where a lot of NCOs, enlisted people think that just getting a bachelor's degree or getting a master's degree automatically promotes them to the next rank. It's up to you, Sergeant Majors, or soon to be Sergeant Majors, to ensure that they also get their primary military education, that they hone in the skills of their MOS, make them that leader. That is the master. That is the MBA of a soldier. So it's up to you to ensure that every soldier complete that military education to be the future leaders of this organization. And also, no matter how long you've been in the Army, you've been an NCO. And it's always hold true that the NCO maintain the standards of this Army. And that's what we need you all. And that's what I need you all to join me as well, to maintain the standards of the United States Army. If you see something, do something about it immediately. Don't wait for someone else to do your job. You're a Sergeant Major. If you hear something, because we hear a lot more than we see, and hearing something is just, and not doing anything about it, is just as guilty as seeing it and not doing anything about it. So if you see something, do something. If you hear something, do something. Join me in maintaining the standards of this Army, that every soldier can come to their job, do their job, come to work, and be free of worrying about if they're going to be sexually assaulted, sexually harassed, experience racism, extremism, been trying to recruit into a gang, drug abuse, alcoholism, all those things we face in our army right now. We have to clear that out of our army. That's not part of the army values. And it starts with us as sergeant majors to do that. So ensure Whatever organization you are responsible for, you maintain the standards of the Army. All your soldiers live in the Army values. And we want this organization to continue to be a proud organization that the people we serve trust to do the job, protect the freedoms of our nation. So let's get rid of all that, the negative things that's going on with our Army right now, because that's not us. That has not been you in your career. So let's root these people out. 
and ensure that we are creating a, a safe environment for our soldiers to train and work in every day. Not only our soldiers, but the civilians as well, because they're all part of our team. They're all part of your squad. And so it's everybody, soldiers and civilians alike. And that's what's on you right now as you move into your role as a Sergeant Major. So again, on behalf of the Director of the Army National Guard, Lieutenant General John Jensen, and myself, the 12th Command Sergeant Major Army National Guard, we congratulate you on a job well done. But this is just the beginning. Go out, have fun as a Sergeant Major, because again, you are a part of an elite group of folks that has made the Sergeant Major rank, the, the well-respected rank around the world. Do everything you, you can to ensure that that rank continues to be respected around the world by all. Officers, civilians, retirees, and everybody else alike. I congratulate you on a job well done. Thank you. Thank you for your inspirational words of encouragement to the graduating class. During the course of study, each student was evaluated on his or her ability, aptitude, performance, and potential for assignment to positions of greater responsibility within the Department of Defense. The following senior non-commissioned officers, having successfully completed all requirements set forth by the Sergeant's Major Academy, are now considered graduates of the Sergeant's Major course, Distance Learning. At this time, we will have the playing of the Army song. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our graduation ceremony. Congratulations to these graduates of the Sergeant's Major course, Distance Learning.